What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title, oh my god, Hasbro, PulseCon, what are y'all doing this year? We are just losing right now for Transformers fans for reveals at PulseCon this week. So, Screamer fan, shout out to you. He said this in the PulseCon thread on TFW2005, and I quote, For those that don't subscribe to Triple Takeover's Patreon, during the latest episode where they interview Evan, he says that 86 Devastator will not be revealed during PulseCon. They were told to hold off until next month. He wishes they had said so before they announced they would show him off. Oh, man. Did we just lose? Like, oh my... Like, I don't know, man. This is just ridiculous. And the fact that we're not even, like, us the fans, we're not told about this change, it seems like. Um, yeah, I I don't know what to make of this. It's very strange. I'm not sure why they're holding back on 86 Devastator until next month. I think New York Comic Con is in October, so maybe for that... But then again, like, why doesn't it, like, why does it matter? Like, just reveal it at your own convention. This is, like, the main big-ticket item for next year, basically, outside of, you know, a couple other releases you could debate on. But 86 Devastator is arguably the most hyped-up release for 2025 so far. And the fact that you don't want to reveal it at your own convention it's kind of strange. I don't understand. Like, again, there's so many marketing moves and strategies Hasbro makes every year that I just do not understand and will never understand, even if we do get the correct answer from Hasbro themselves, which we usually never do. So it, it's just par for the course at this point with Hasbro. But especially since there's reports that I covered in my last video that I dropped a couple hours ago that Wave 1 of Age of the Primes isn't going to be revealed at PulseCon either, even though the last few years since PulseCon has been going on, they have revealed the next wave or the next toy line for the following year. And it seems like they're changing that this year for, again, whatever reason that they want to throw out there or that they thought of internally at Hasbro, we don't know. And... Man, I, I'm not excited for this stream now. Like, at least there was this thought in the back of my mind when the rumors started popping up early, earlier, uh, like a few days ago, that we wouldn't be getting Wave 1 of Primes next year for for PulseCon. Uh, okay, we're still getting 86 Devastator. This still will be an, a somewhat interesting stream. But no, we're seemingly not even getting 86 Devastator for this PulseCon stream, which is absolutely freaking ridiculous. Um, but, you know, I don't want to, like, hate on it too much. It's just very bad decision-making and marketing tactics from Hasbro, in my opinion. Because we're still getting reveals, you know, this week on Friday. Whether they're amazing or not is yet to be seen. But at least we're still getting something this week. You know, people people want to paint me in the comments sometimes uh, as this person that's constantly hating on Hasbro, which is not the case. Uh, like, if you actually watch my channel and you're not just a hater clicking on a video just to comment something nasty on my channel, you would actually see that I probably praise Hasbro's products just as much or even... Even more, I, pr I probably praise them even more than I bash them for their products, honestly. But it's not like I'm going to sugarcoat everything. It's not like everything Hasbro makes and all the decisions they do are absolutely perfect. Of course, there are going to be videos where I'm hating on them, and this is one of them. So, yeah, I just don't like this decision. If it is true, um, it seems like... This is just, well, if Evan is saying it in, in an interview, it must be true then. So I'm taking this as fact, but who knows? Maybe things will change internally. Hasbro will change their minds over something we don't know yet. But 
Yeah, this is not good news. And, you know, in, with my previous report of Wave 1 of Primes not being revealed at the stream either, it seems like it's just going to be a big nothing burger with just Wave 5 of United, which, again, is just repacks and reissues of previously released figures over the last, over the last couple years. So, yeah, um, this may be... A bit of a mid-pulse con for us Transformers fans. But who knows? Things, plans may change. But I, for now, I would just lower my expectations, guys. And just at least be hoping for Wave 5 of United to be revealed this week. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to talk about this new tidbit that just came out a few hours ago. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below. How do y'all feel about 86 Devastator possibly not even being revealed at PulseCon this week, even though Hasbro said they would, and them basically not updating us, the fans, on this, that he won't be revealed at PulseCon anymore, and it'll be revealed a month from now at a later date. All my social medias are linked down below, including my email if you guys want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever, or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or just regular display shelves in your homes. You can either hit me up on any of my social media accounts or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye!